Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be going through um, how to revise GCSE maths, A level, kind of probably A level maths too, because they do A level maths papers as well. But uh, yeah, first of all, I'm going to go through what I did, give a little talk about it. Uh, okay, so first I didn't use the books uh, because I thought the books were. I th I'm like more of a visual learner. I like someone to like read it out to me, you know, tell me what's going on. I don't like reading it through a book because if you don't understand the one way it's written. That's it. <laughs> if you don't understand it, that's it. And reading a book's really long, and you can just sit there and while well, I do that, when you can sit there and watch a video as many times as you want, and then watch another video of someone else doing it and someone else explaining it in a different way, which could be better than the first way, because the book isn't always right. Okay, so first of all, uh, I used to use a lot of revision YouTubers. So, see this guy person does on maths. He puts like demon questions. Like that's that is if you're going for like grade nines, you probably every grade nine question like in one paper if you're going for them grade nines or like you've got the predicted papers when it comes to close to the GCSE what he does is he makes a predicted paper for what he thinks is coming up you can do that it's like I did that and I th some of the questions were quite similar kind of helped me out a lot I know I only got a six but I was only revising for two months and I went from a I think it was a three to a six all right so the next one I would also use as a UK math teacher because obviously you've got a 9 1 spec on there using it see like using a, a Casio calculator like basics how to you know actually use a calculator maybe lo like slightly longer but still you know if you want to learn how to use a calculator for the GCC it's right there and then finally uh, we've got the the whole of 9 to 1 maths and only 2 hours higher and foundation at Excel AQA OCR this would like the way she does it is actually like mental. She goes through all of it in two hours. So if you're behind on whatever, you watch that. And trust me, night before the exam, night before you mark, bloody sound. Got remembered like literally most of it. I wouldn't write. I'd like write it down as I go along. So if she writes my maps. I'd put my maps. Really works. Really helps. And then yeah, finally you got a thing called Math Genie. You never heard of this? It's like a. So uh, let's go into. They've got GCC revision and all that kind of stuff on here. But uh, they've got the pages for 9 to 1 assessments. So they've got all the questions, so topics. So you're going for, it goes through all the grades. So obviously these are grades, so you click on revision. I think, yeah, they, they have a video here for them, which is really good. And then you go under question. I'll give you the questions here like a kind of normal paper but it would just be for that and then you can go on the solutions I'll tell you them right here trust me this this website will save your life I think it's so much better than my maths because what I think my maths is just shit to be honest because you can just keep on typing it in like the question like the answer so you just go like if it's like only can only be like one number you just go one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's how you pretty much do it and there's like so many like cheats and stuff that people use on Google Chrome yeah Pretty much that is literally how I revise maths. Obviously I used actual past papers, which I'll look on here to see if I can find any. Uh, uh, I don't know what website I used to use. Because uh, I used to, when I when I was two months out my tutor always used to print them. So GCC maths revision papers. Okay, yeah here. So basically this one here, uh, just type in GCC maths revision papers, first one that comes up goes through all of them, you put in your exam board. So you're doing AQA. Uh, come through all the way from all of these different ones. So yeah, it's a pretty good website. It's probably the one I used because it said it was in purple. So probably did use it. Uh, so yeah, I think. Oh, please don't tell me you have to log in. Uh, don't worry, I don't think you would have to log in. But yeah. So basically, I'll link the. I'll link. I'll put all the links in the in the description. So yeah, see, I'll stick all the links in the description so you guys can do it if you are doing it. And yeah, that's pretty much how you revise it. The things I can recommend you get, a calculator, like your compass, your protractor, that kind of thing. Even though I don't think I had to use a protractor once. Yeah, I'd, wait. I think it was a, yeah, it was a protractor. Yeah, I didn't have to use one of those. I didn't have to use the triangle either. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you have all your pens, pencils. Uh, write down in a little notepad or whatever what you do get, what you don't get. So it's a little bit easier to go over stuff. But on here, you literally, on the Math Genie, you can go start here at your level one to two stuff, just go down it, 
and then just keep on going down and down and down and down through it until you get to the grade nine. And if you get stuck on stuff, you can just go write down a notebook, notebook uh, so let's say grade five, and uh, you're, you're struggling at gradient of a line, and equation of a line. It's one thing I kind of struggled with for a while. You just go over it. Oh, I haven't got any exam questions, I just got revision videos. <laughs> well, for that one it does, but yeah, you just go through that, you take a little click, you'll be fine. And yeah, that's pretty much how I revise maths, how you to get the top grades. I reckon if I had, I had a pretty off maths paper, because I know one of them I did really bad on. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like I should have got a seven, because I know I was pretty close, that's like four marks off. But yeah, uh, you guys should hopefully do better than me since you're starting at Chris. If you're watching this, you're starting at Christmas, and if you found this video, you want to revise well. So, yeah, uh, and also this can be used for A level. I'll show you look A level bit quickly. Uh, a level revision, and I'm sure there is videos online for the A level stuff. So yeah, see here, core one, core two, core three, statistics, mechanics, just as good for A level, and then. Yeah, so you, oh, it's also got the GCSE exam papers on it. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, you can use the GCSE math, this one as well, if it hasn't got your ones on there, because it doesn't say what exam board. Oh, it's all at Excel. But okay, if you're not doing it Excel, you use the other one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll be doing my New Year's resolution thing tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah, uh, hope you stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.